Hi, welcome to Simple, Easy, and Fun Cooking with Felicia, where I believe that cooking should be simple, it should be easy, and it definitely should be fun. I am so glad that you have tuned in. Guess what we're doing today? One of our old-time favorite, Kool-Aid pie. Yes, I said it. We're making Kool-Aid pie. Well, I'm ready to get started. How about you? But the first thing we need to do is wash our hands, but we know the importance of washing our hands so we won't pass no germs into ourselves, and so we won't pass it to nobody else. After that, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for all these different foods and recipes that you left on this earth that you have given people to come up with, Lord God, to for our personal enjoyment. We just give you all the praise and all the glory. We ask you to sanctify the food and purify it for the nutrition of our body, and we give you all the praise and all the glory. In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, amen, guys. I'm so excited. Um, I remember some years ago when I, um, it was this lady that lived by me and she was making a Kool-Aid pie and I was so, I never had had a Kool-Aid pie before. And when I had it, I was like, oh, this is so good. But I never thought about making one. So I'm very excited about making this because it's so simple. You need like three or four ingredients and that's it, guys. And it is one of the most simplest recipe that you can make. And if you bring this to a party or to one of your get togethers, it's going to be the hit. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, you got to think about what is your favorite Kool-Aid? What type of Kool-Aid do you like? I mean, there's so many different types of flavors out there. You got tropical, you got orange, you got lemonade, you got grape, which is one of my favorites. You have so many different types of flavors of Kool-Aid out there. So you need to think about the type of Kool-Aid pie that you want to make. That's one of your um, favorite Kool-Aid that you used to um, um, drink. So I'm going to be making grape today. So my favorite is grape. So we're going to be making a grape Kool-Aid pie. So I'm going to show you how simple this is. You're going to have to get some, hold on just a minute. You're going to have to get some condensed sweetened milk. This one, this one particularly is by Eagle Brand. And you need, you need one, you need one can. This is, um, let me see here. This is a 14 ounce and you're going to need one can of sweetened condensed milk. And I use this in my um, sweet potato pies. And if you want some good sweet potato pies, you want to check out my video with my sweet potato pies. I use the Eagle brand in that. You're going to need one can of this. And so you're going to pour it in your bowl. Guys, this is so, so easy. So easy. You want to get all that out of there. It's just so easy, guys. Very easy to do. Very easy to do. Let me get a spoon. We're going to get all that good eat. You don't want to leave none of that in there, guys. You want to get all that um, sweetened condensed milk in here. Okay. This is a very, very simple recipe. You're going to love it. Okay. Once you do that, I want to make sure I get it all out. Once you do that, you're going to take your favorite Kool-Aid. Can you guys see? Let me adjust the video. Okay. You're going to take your favorite Kool-Aid. And you're going to pour it in there. I'm using grape. You only need one package. Don't do more than one package. So this is my favorite Kool-Aid, grape. After that, you're going to need some Cool Whip. And this, this, um, this is an 8-ounce container of Cool Whip. So you need the small one, the 8-ounce. And you're going to add that in there. Okay. I'm going to add that in there, guys. Once you add that in there, guys, you want to 
incorporate all the ingredients until you see the color, until you see everything in there turn the color of your Kool-Aid. So I'm using grapes. So I want to keep on turning and stirring this until I actually see the color of grape coming in there real strong or whatever color that you use. It's important that you just keep on stirring. So guys, that was three ingredients. So let's talk about again, what do, what do you need to have? You're gonna need some, you're gonna need some sweetened condensed milk. This is a, a 14 ounce, the small can. You're gonna need your favorite Kool-Aid, whatever kind you like. And you're gonna need a Cool Whip. This this is um, what do we say that this were? Let's look at this, guys. This is an eight ounce, okay. And we're just gonna stir. And you're gonna need a graham cracker crust. And that's it, guys. Can you believe it? Three ingredients and one ready to make graham cracker crust. So you want to get, I'm trying to stir this until you see that purple come in real good. Guys, when I tell you your kids is going to love you, this is a wonderful treat to bring to a party. You know, maybe you're not a, uh, maybe you're not good at making desserts. And you're always asked to bring a dessert, to make a homemade dessert. This is something you can make. It's very easy. It's no bake. You do not have to bake this. Okay, guys, we're trying to stir it all in. And you really want to get at that bottom because sometimes that Kool-Aid be all the way at that bottom. And you want to stir that in until you don't see no more white. You shouldn't see no more the color Cool Whip at all all that should be incorporated real good see guys i want to show you how this look I'm trying to incorporate it real good for you see where you see nothing you see how you see can you see it guys where it's all purple we don't see no cool whip and you don't see no kool-aid in there no powder kool-aid then what you want to do guys you want to get you a ready um crust graham cracker now when i first made this because i made one earlier i had got the six ounce one but the six ounce ones was, was kind of too small so i think that you should go up to um this nine ounce one okay so it depends on if you want a little bit if you want a little bit left over then um do the six ounce one but if not we're going to do the nine ounce one Okay, so you want to get your graham cracker ready crust. And then what you want to do, guys, after you stir that in all the way good, you want to spoon this into the crust. Okay. You're going to spoon this into the crust like this. Okay. You want to spoon all of that into your graham cracker crust. If you want to make your own graham cracker crust, you can. But it's easier this way. It's more simpler this way. One that's already made for you. And then you want to kind of straighten it out like this. This is better. So you want to get the nine ounce, the nine ounce ounce ready um, crust. Woo. Make sure you don't go over the ends like I'm doing. Make sure you stay inside the the graham cracker crust. Once you smooth it out real good, guys. Um, the ready graham cracker crust come with a top, which I love it. Because what you could do is you could just put that top back on there. And what you can do is easier because it has a top with it. 
you're going to put this in your refrigerator for four hours. Once you have it in your refrigerator for four hours, it should be ready to eat. So we have one already made, so let's try it out. Now, the one that I already made, guys, it is an orange one. Because it is fall time, um, I thought the orange flavor would be really, 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 really good. So let's look at this. Look at this, guys. Doesn't that look beautiful? This is how it looks after four hours. So let's take a quick thumbnail and then we could try. Um, but before we try, I wanna let you know you can make some mini ones too. This is a mini tropical one that I made. The tropical um, Kool-Aid. This is the pink lemonade, guys. Look how cute this is. The pink lemonade one. And I got the blue raspberry one. These are, and these are be nice for party favors. And then I have a lemonade one over here, guys, that you could, um, that you could try out. Okay. Okay. So let us take our thumbnail. Let's go get another one. Okay, guys, and let us try. I am so excited. The kids been asking me all day, Mom, when are you going to cut the Kool-Aid pie? I said, well, I have to do a video first. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and cut it like if I would color it regularly. So when they, we could try when I get home. Oh, guys. Okay. I'm just cutting the whole pie up. That way it'll be ready for them when they get home. Okay. Okay, guys. Let me get my plate. And let me put a slice on there. If you have some extra whipped cream or you could put a little dab on the top to kind of decorate it in a piece of cherry. Ooh, I took a big chunk out of that one. That's okay. Guys. This is how it looks, guys. Okay. I don't think we have no more. You could put a little cherry on top. You could add some more whipped cream on top. I don't think I have no more whipped cream to add. Nope, so we're gonna just eat it like that. So you are the guest and you get the first bite. Yummy, yummy. Now it's my turn. Thank you, Jesus, once again. Mmm. The orange Kool-Aid tastes like orange sherbet. If you ever had a cream sickle before, that's what it tastes like. This is so good. You have to have another taste. Mmm. And guys, I'm not big on sweet, but this is good. Well, guys, thank you once again. For joining me here at Simple, Simple, Easy, and Fun Cooking with Felicia, where I believe that cooking should be simple, it should be easy, and it definitely should be fun. Until next time, be blessed.